Hey, Rich again with our little homestead. We've run five batches, I think. Somewhere around there. Through the uh, harvest rate, and it's time to change the oil. So we're gonna swap out some oil. We have our handy dandy Brita water filter that harvest rate provided. I'm just gonna reach back on the back of my pump here, power it off, and let the oil drain. Yeah, you can see the color of that oil. It's pretty dirty, you want to see. It didn't look that dirty in the machine, but... It's definitely cloudy. Yeah, for sure. All the oil out, you do have to tip the back of the pump up, which I'm doing. Otherwise, if you don't, you might not get everything that's in there. <clears throat> not that there's a ton of oil in there, but... And honestly, I thought this might be a pain in the butt, but it really hasn't been. When they talked before about the freeze dryers, I was under the um, misconception that it had to be changed every run. Maybe that was the case with the older pumps, but... And honestly, it smells like the cantaloupe we just did in the last batch. It's kind of strange. I want to drink it. Ew. No, <laughs> okay. It is done draining. We're just down to a couple drips every once in a while. We're going to turn the valve back off. Sit our pump down. And let this do its thing slowly and methodically. Yeah, it's actually really clean coming out of there. Surprisingly, yeah. It's clear compared to... <laughs> what's going through there the olive oil that's in there yeah, it's really dirty all right so we're gonna put clean oil back in because we want to run some pickles tonight make some pickle chips and some jalapenos and some uh, banana peppers so far we've done cantaloupe bananas what else ice cream Ice, ice cream, cream sandwiches, sandwiches. <laughs> marshmallows, Skittles. I think that's it, right? Yeah. Is it all? So, and our uh, bread corn. run. And corn. And corn. So we're going to do some real food. And I'm hoping to try some chili. If we have some left over from dinner. And next week I'm going to make potato soup okay. replace your fill cap make sure that rubber gasket's still on there and reach back turn your pump power back on and that's really it so all in all it took maybe five minutes and we're ready to go. We're ready for more runs. Until next time, be good to one another and support your local farms.